I think Iran's tension is very clear that it showed a determination for a retaliation uh, of the uh, the attack, previous attack by Israel against uh, the Iran's consulate in, uh, in in Damascus, the capital of Syria. So that is why uh, that the Israel attack actually provoked the anger of of the Iranians and also that uh, Israel's prolonged war in the Gaza Strip also provoked the dissatisfaction and the anger of the ordinary Iranian people. So that is why Iran has to retaliate to show, on the one hand, their uh, capabilities to defend their national sovereignty and uh, res uh, and the reputation in the Middle East. And also, on the other hand, Iran hopes to uh, draw the very red line for Israel that no uh, Iranians' uh, targets should be further attacked by Israel. They hoped that the, the to deter Israel the further and the possible attacks against the Iranians' target in the Middle East. So that is why I think Iran shows a very, very strong determination and shows a very, very clear red line to Israel by this attack against Israeli or uh, target. Iran's foreign minister says the U.S. has given has been given the necessary warning. And what's behind his remarks? I think that it shows that both Iran and United States, they hope to control the the, 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 the influence of this, uh, this round of attack, given the fact that actually uh, United States does not want to deeply involved into the Middle Eastern affairs, and they don't want to see the escalation of Middle Eastern tension. And then on the other hand, although that Iran uh, firmly uh, to hope to firmly control, uh, firmly, firmly defend their own national sovereignty and national security. They just, just they don't want to uh, the, the tension in this region be escalated. They don't want to get involved directly with Israel and the United States of the conflict in the future. So that is why, on the one hand, is uh, Iran after this round of the attack, the the the, the public that declared that the retaliation is over, no further attack would be launched. And the, on the other hand, the United States and also called for peace and stability on many occasions to hope to control the, ten the tension uh, from further uh, es uh, escalating. So that is, I think that these are all the very positive signals that uh, this round of the conflict is still under control and no side or neither sides, uh, uh, neither United States nor I Iran wants to uh, escalate the tension in this region. Iran says this attack has concluded but does not rule out another military operation of israel commits aggression against it how do you think israel will respond yes there were still uh, uncertainties uh, because on the one hand we have to know that uh, uh, there were still some missiles and uh, drones on their way to israel so we still need time to calculate how uh, casualties that uh, Israel suffers, and on the other hand, we have to know that uh, Iran, not Iran, say that okay, now the retaliation is over. But then there were some allies of Iran in this region, such as the Hezbollah in Lebanon, such as Houthi in, in Yemen, and such as the Hashdash Abi means the People's Mobilization Units in Iraq. They might also have the willingness to continue this war, and they might also continue to launch the missiles and drones against the targets inside Israel. So that these all combined together might further provoke the tension in this region. So I think that these all these factors will all together determine how Israel will respond and how Israel will re react to the latest round of the uh, strikes launched by, by, by Iran against the Israeli targets themselves.